smoke weed every day. Hello, this is Nintendo 14 playthrough on Donkey Kong 64, part 20 in the last part. We defeated Mad Jack from the, from the, not the Angry Aztec, but the, the Frantic Factory. I almost said it because, because of that, but in this part, we got the key in and we're in the Angry Aztec, not the Angry Aztec, we might come up with Angry Aztec. We're in the new area, the Gloomy Gallium. I hope I pronounced that right, but, and we're going to be starting things off with, with Lanky Kong, but. There is a lot of things that we got to do that involves using all the Kong, except for Ti Tiny, because t t Tiny just, just forget Tiny. But there's a lot of switches that we got to hit with uh, the other Kongs first, and once we get that that out the way, uh, sh switch can be like shoot. Th thank you. All right. I believe there's one point of interest here for Lanky Kong once we actually get that, and I believe there's one more thing you can do with with Lanky Kong or not Lanky Kong, but with Chunky Kong. Jeez, I'm getting the names wrong. Just as always, I'm gonna avoid collecting anything that is not for this part. I'll try and get this though. Just be real careful here, apparently, because I don't want to be touching stuff that involves not using the, the certain Kong. So go all the way back here with Chunky, and you can find me punch that. That way, with Lin you can come back here with or come back there with Linky Kong and get those blue balloons shot with that creep shooter. Which apparently I made it look like blunt. All right. Quickly, you can avoid, just avoid that. And to the left and right, there are two switches for Donkey and Diddy sh to shoot out. So I'll go ahead and switch over to those two and sh uh, take those switches down. Now, I did say, like, a couple parts ago, I, I, I just continuously said that this game was released on April the 15th. Well, I guess I'm wrong because uh, the Nintendo Direct kind of fooled me. I'm thinking that all that stuff would be released in, like, one simple day. Nope. This game would be released a day after Mewtwo came out for for Club Nintendo members. So that'd be April 16th, so sorry for the mix up there, but that's what you gotta do, man. But still, that means it, that means the, the game's still out for, by this time uh, on a Monday, April 20th. Everybody's just too busy smoking. Or if, if they are, if they ever go to such those conventions. But anyways, alright, enough about smoking and blunts and weed and all marijuana all, all drugs aside or just smoking stuff outside now we got this switched you now this gate or gateway opened up we can actually or maybe not be able to because uh, how high that is if we get that for now instead let's let's go to the right area that we use donkey kong to shoot now i still got plenty of videos to work on it as well as you know, keep up with school and everything so hopefully I'll just try and keep up with every, or try and do all this one by one. And oh boy, you see all this water right here? Yeah, this this will really show you how much I feel like that. But oh, oh my goodness, all that water! I think the, uh, I think my best method or whatever in terms of 100 percenting, I think it'd be wisest if I actually take down the water areas first, especially by taking these troll bananas. Oh. This is going to be a real, real hassle to deal with, having to collect bananas underwater. And that's going to be plenty of bananas that you have to collect underwater. Let me get those coins, why not? Just for good measures. Because, uh, forget that. You might have to use make good use of both swimming, or both swimming speeds. But, you know, like, by holding B, because you're really going to need to be real accurate when it comes to swimming. And going into here, just like in the Jungle Japes with Donkey Kong, where he turned into Rambi, Lanky can turn into Anguarde. I, I believe that, that's how you pronounce it, because all these words I can't pronounce. Maybe I'll just uh, just take the take the word and just put it in Google Translate. Just go by whatever Google Translate says. I mean, that's what I did for this Tatsunoko series with the, the Gacha Man. That uh, I guess it's lesser known. I mean, it's it's like a 60 60 year old show that aired all the way back in like the 60s or 70s. I'm not exactly sure about that, but. But getting back to this game, hitting these these chests with Enguardi's sword, I'm just gonna go by that pronunciation until I actually figure out the right pronunciation. But then again, this might be the only video where you show off Enguardi. Anyways, you can hit the hit those chests with the B button, and they'll actually break. And hey, guess what? There's there's bananas here. So unfortunately, for some stupid reason, you can only collect these bananas if you're if you're a normal lanky, you can't collect these bananas by just being in the sword, swordfish form. 
And instead you have to just painstakingly revert back to normal by pressing Z and le left on the C buttons to revert back to normal and then just collect it and then have to go all the way back just to hit, hit it again. So I guess we can just explore all the underwater. I think most of this part will be just us underwater. And going all the way down there, there's actually a banana. It looks like it could be for someone, but guess what? It's actually for Lanky Kong, because in order to get that, just like with the others, you have to revert back to normal. I hate it, hate it, hate it. And my TV probably hates this too, because of how dark it is. Like I've said numerous times. I really wish that... I still don't know if that the, the Virtual Console actually fixes the lighting for this game. Really hope it actually did. But then again, there's plenty of N64 games that I that I have that has a lot of lighting issues aside from this game. So uh, it's just uh, just this game just happens to be a victim of that lighting issue with N64 games. Ah, oh, okay, that's that's really weird. I'll just get these bananas. All right. I believe I really want to say that's all the bananas underwater because I really don't want to be here anymore. It's a tag barrel in there if you, in case if you actually need it. Because there are a couple more stuff you can you can do in this area with the other Kongs, such as Tiny Kongs stuff. But alright. I'm gonna search through this area. One, one more just one more co inch through this area and see if we can find anything. I believe there's a couple pits down here, but nothing real interesting. But there might be something right there, but I think I'm just gonna fingers crossed here, I think I have everything. Because I I really don't like this area anymore. It's the swimming controls and everything. It'd be really nice if uh, uh, it was more like Majora's Mask swimming controls. But what I what should I know about Majora's Mask? They like never play Zelda games. I've only played Wind Waker HD, and that's it. And I almost came really close to actually playing play, playing through that game, but instead I I chose this game. All right, now going over to this right here. This is kind of special because hitting that switch underwater. It actually raises the the water current or the water tides. I don't really know exactly what the term is, but all right, doing that will raise the water, and we can actually get to the top areas. There's a couple stuff we can do with Donkey Kong, but I think it's wisest is if I start things off with Lanky Kong because there are some parts in this area that can't be accessed unless if you do things with the, the transfer the swordfish transmission with Lanky Kong. So that's why I went with him first. So I believe, I, I think maybe there could be like a little, mm, a little doorway that you have to break open, just like with Rambi and the Jungle Japes. So I want to go ahead and look there for, for that right now. Might be wrong. Oh, actually, it was right there. I actually thought it would be in the second area that you can go to by using Diddy's peanut pop gun. But going through all the way here, we're still moving in the cutscene. All right, nothing really in interesting here. There's just a trail of bananas and a trough and scoff portal if you need that. So nothing really doing here. That that's all it really is. I think I'll just and also with it you can just go above water, or press Z. The controls for the swordfish and guarde, they're really similar to to just normal swimming controls. But although the swordfish is a lot faster, and if you go straight up, you can just do like a dive or like a, a jump out of water thing. Obviously you can't leave the water when you're in this form. So like you can try like this, or whatever, and it'll just be stuck or just go. You'll just like slip off the a platform and just go back in the water. I don't believe you can actually take damage because uh, you can't take damage in, if you're in that form apparently. But nothing really bad happened will will happen to you when you're in that swordfish or that swordfish form. Now, if you look at it with that like attack thing, you'd think that you'd be able to kill off those starfish enemies in the water, but apparently it doesn't. And being in the swordfish mode, nobody's gonna be taking any damage, so so pretty lame. Now we're in the in the second area. Oh, more water. Having to deal with this this area for five parts. Uh, not counting the boss area because you know this, this area is always gonna have bosses. But I fear that this parts or any any later parts they could take up uh, like double the amount of times that I've normally had these videos for, like the frantic factory. But right now I haven't practiced this this area just yet. I've only practiced just this part right now. So this is like the DK star here. It's really tricky, or a, a bit a bit step of in difficulty. You actually have to do this, like just jump, jump and hit the star. I guess it's not that tough if you actually position yourself. Just get like a good strafe here, break, line yourself up, and 
and just get a little distance so you can make the jump just like that and that should do something such as okay open up a gate this one will actually lead towards a gold banana that you can get for Lanky Kong or Diddy Kong if you want to but now let's let's see what else we can see we can do there's a balloon right there that I actually want to go ahead and get so I'll just be, go in style and just jump and yep oh, okay that works yeah all right so I said that worked but right, I'm just gonna fail actually I did something kind of awesome all right there's that balloon this is where it's gonna get difficult and okay luckily I got that balloon and just my first try just like with my practice run now let's just go through here because we just opened up this area and I think once we've done with that or done with, with all that I think uh, we'll start getting more gold bananas and we'll be on our way here there's some bananas right there for Lanky hmm I wish to compensate this this area I just really don't like but we'll try and get through it as for vid videos maybe I, I really want to really want to make that I know like uh, I actually want to been, I've been wanting to go over this for a bit but now that's the DLC for Mewtwo all the hype is over for that I mean it's out what's next to look forward to when you're a Nintendo fan and you have a Wii U well it's simple you can just deflate or, like hit something sharp and deflate Lanky Kong leave a hole in his stomach but this is the week for Mario Kart hype that means me the game master guys or John the game master guys we're going to be starting the videos. We're going to be doing just 150cc of the DLC tracks. I've been, if you've seen like the direct reactions video from me, you know how that I, I want to suggest doing the 200cc Let's Play. Not just for the DLC tracks, for, but also all the other, all the other tracks that are already out. Such as the ones that came on the disc, like the original, or the, the starting 32, along with the tracks from DLC 1. And this... This minigame should be no problem for you. All you really gotta do is just find find that claptrap or like that little doggy thingy, and just like that, I think the I want to say that the this shooter thing with the watermelon, it's kind of lenient, but make sure you hit him spot on. I usually tend to hit him right at the head because that usually seems to work, but nonetheless, that's that's all there is to it. Already 13 minutes. That's usually around the average of of a video that's not an exploration but since it's the exploration we got a lot a lot more ground to cover and all this stuff actually there's a little thing right there for tiny but we're not playing as tiny anyways now onwards i think there's a couple more areas i mean where whatever happens to the shop i mean there's some sh some shops over here but i think uh let's let's go check that out here those been uh, those two balloons that i just com completely forgot about i think i'll actually there's those two balloons, and also there's a battle crown right there, or back there, but I think I'll go back to that once I decide to actually go back there for not just that, but also for also for the, the blueprint. I think I'll be... And I think with most of the shops in this area, such as Can Candy and Cranky, all there really is for Can Candy Kong right now, if you still haven't at this point gotten any of the instruments or any potions... I guess this, this is like the opportunity for you to get it, but if you've already bought, uh, purchased all of the items and upgrades, then there's not really much point for these shops in this area right now, but they're there for convenience sakes. But instead of like any uh, more music instruments, for, for right now, Candy Kong's all, all she's going to be really doing is actually upgrading her instruments, such as giving us some more, more starting energy. So unlike her... So we started off with 10, but now by doing that, we actually increase it to 15. So just a five usage in increase, but all right, it's always great. Now we really want to check this area because there could be stuff and okay, just hit the pause button for no reason. All right, we really want to check every nook and granny here because Lanky Kong and pretty much any of the other Kongs, they could have some really well hidden bananas here and we really don't want to be done with that. I believe there's like a, a new enemy ap apparently in there that I just don't want to deal with. But all right, I think that's yeah, that's everything in this area. I think a, a good way to get getting around this this area, especially in the water, you can just swim underwater and just just hold the A button. I think this works a lot faster. You can swim a lot faster than just swimming above water. 
So just a quick tip that I probably already gave you guys in the last few parts, but but since you know you don't have to come through the videos, I can just say it again. Why not? Recycle commentary. Alright, now I'm kind of lost here because there is another area that you can go through, and this is just not one of them. Except there is a two panel right here if you need it. Oh, there's nothing in this area. Okay, so I just gotta go all the way back here. Alright. We got Candy Kong, but I believe you go through here. You should actually get to another store that you need. I don't think, uh... There, wait, nope. Yep, stuck. Okay. Five panels, so that way you can actually go across... Across the, the area and back to the area with the lighthouse, which I think we'll, we'll call that right now. But here we are. There's Funky Kong right there in case if... Just like with like or with Candy Kong, if you somehow still don't have the music instruments, or not the music instruments, but any weapon that that you don't have for a Kong, then it's there for you. Now here's where the you know switching with the water current comes into place. There's some certain uh, music instruments that you have to that you can't access until you actually lower down the water. So we have to come back here and actually do that. That was really weird. The cameras. Oh, that's gonna be a real battle. Not only that, sometimes the you know the water's just gonna screw us up. But guess what? We also got that camera to deal with. So there's a reason why most people, including myself, I think, yeah, we, we hit water levels, especially in 3D games, because you also got the camera can to to combat, and you get like the Z axis, so it's it's like twice as difficult. Now that now I actually got these banana ports, so I think I got like most of them except for the fourth one. The fourth banana pad, banana port, that'll be used for, for uh, only like a specific thing, like one gold banana for one Kong. These is TNT things. You can just shoot them, and they'll explode. A lot easier to take out than just the regular barreled gremlins that they hide under. All right, let's just get these out the way. All right, good. Let's actually take out this battle crown just right, just just for right now. Now I think it can go for a little bit more Mario Kart. Uh, I really hope I can actually uh, make all these marker videos. I, I think I'll actually conserve the marker videos or marker e videos that are going to be coming up from me. Uh, maybe to like two every week. Every week, or preferably, I'll, I think I'll I'll have just two videos each weekend. So like, I'll have one marker e video s Saturday and then another s Sunday, just so it's somewhat consistent. But happy that. I'll start off with, like, this upcoming weekend, Saturday and Sunday, which is like, I don't want to do the math, but like, maybe the 25th, I believe, like, just the weekend that, the weekend after, or the weekend after Mar the DLC for Mario Kart 8 comes out, I'll, I'll record, or I'll, I'll upload my first run-throughs of it, I don't know, I could change, I could change my mind about that, I could record and upload it as soon as I can, like minutes after I, I can get it downloaded, which is like midnight at on Thursday. I could do that. And then from there on out, I think I'll just record and upload the mirror mode. As well as the two I'll start also start uh doing a playthrough of the two hundred CC with all forty eight tracks, including the DLC. I think that'll be pretty cool. So like just to make things more easier. I'll do the thirty two on disc tracks as well as the I'll also do the 16 DLC tracks for 200 CC, so th that'll be that'll be a blast. And some Tiny Kong stuff, and and Chunky Kong stuff. So that's all the way to this top area. It's like I can't activate that just yet because I don't have, yeah, I don't have that number three pad. I know where it is, but apparently I never got to it. And I think it would be really smart is is if I go back and actually lower the water current because I never actually wait no I just did. I actually raised the water current. You need it raised for this one. Having it lowered, you can't access it. So just a, just a fair warning here. As you can see, it's a lot higher now that we the, the water. There's more water here now we raised it. But anyways, there's not much for Linky Kong right now because all of this is really for for Chunky Kong. If you look at it. But just go right back here and there's a a cast flat. I wonder what color it is. I wonder. I didn't see the stop, but. It's Lanky's. Alright. All there really is to that. Because this all really is to that. Now that's all done. Now we get to the real fun part with Lanky Kong. 
We got 75 bananas with us right now. But if there's not any other bananas for Lanky right now. At least I didn't see any. But there's these enemies that I think I should touch on a little bit. These are the Kashas. They they drop two two watermelons, just like the Mecha Kremlings back in the Frantic Factory. But what makes these guys special is that regular attacks, they, they won't kill them in one shot. The only way you can take these guys down in one shot is either with the charge attack or by letting them attack that involves them hitting their like spiky club on the ground getting it stuck and then just going point and blank and hitting them with the with an orange other than that those are the only ways you can defeat them with the exception of the music that just kills anything whenever it feels like it so we could sit here there also with that spiky club that obviously means that it could do more damage and by more damage I mean it Instead of just one watermelon it'll take from you, it'll take two. So, kind of merciful by by killing it, they'll give you just the amount that it took from you. Now, there, there's some stuff right here. We also got some more chests that we can take down with with this lovely swordfish. There's a little area right there that you can take down if you, if you want to, but... Uh, this is really where the... Where my TV just takes its soul, just all this lighting that, that I'm going to have to deal with. But luckily there's this little generous uh, fish thingy that just likes to give us light. So he's like, he, he's helping us out on combating the, the darkness that my TV provides. I mean, don't get me wrong, the TV isn't like pitch black or anything, but when it gets, when there's a point in that game where it just gets absolutely dark, and I, I don't believe I can actually record the TV like directly to actually show you, but just those parts where it just gets, just gets really dark, it just gets really frustrating to actually play off of. Anyways, going through here, we got a gold banana. And actually, what I like about this area is that you can actually see... Oh, there's a little thing right there, but... You can actually see uh, inex inaccessible parts that Linky Kong can't access to, but... Basically, those are the other parts that other Kongs can go through. If you're if you're curious, so I guess like this entire area is just loaded up with with other areas that you can't access. So uh, I guess it's somewhat some way to to pre preserve memory. I guess for, for this game, if you really want to, just snap my heel or crack the bones for the heel. But all right, getting back to all, all this. This is I didn't hit that either. All right, <laughs> I was really positive I hit that, but I guess I didn't. I didn't. Touch it. Now that we got that done, I think actually I'll just take the time and actually here's what I'll do. I think I'll actually I'll go ahead and activate the two and three battle. I I think I'll also show off this if I can get it. I'll try and go for the banana ports while I'm going through here. But I want to show off the proper way to kill Kashas or the just the more or the more professional way or I don't know just the the more difficult way to take down Kashas. I just did it right there. All right, now, now that's over. Here's the number two pad that, if you need it, it's right there. Actually, it could be pretty useful for later switches that you can hit through these, through these tunnels right here. Now, just backtracking all the way back here, just so we can just get the water down, so we can play the music instrument for Lanky Kong, and get get the last, I believe it's the last banana. Yep, get the last gold banana for Lanky Kong in this area. And just fingers crossed that I don't have any more, mm, any more colored bananas underground that I or underwater that I didn't get. All right, well, lowering the water, it's all nice and dandy. But luckily, with those with those crates that are hovering above water, they adjust to, because the physics, like real life physics, they'll actually adjust to where the water is at the top. So you can just get up here, long jump, and you're back up here. And that's really essential to getting back to if you want to get to where you need to go. I think uh, I'll actually take a short cut here. Make use of these banana ports. I actually forgot to take the third one. It's actually a banana port to just nice HQ if you need to redeem blueprints at this point. But I just missed it. Just take the five. I actually warp across the map. I like these five paddles. Really, really convenient by just having that factor. But now. Now we just go for the last banana and just get it. Still de actually debating, like I've said like another part, but actually still b debating if I should even move this playthrough onto the virtual console. 
just because of the lighting factor and you know the fact that if I have this on the Wii U that means I can I can play in H in HD more and I actually use this big monitor that I have for a Wii U apparently I can't use it for regular Wii or or uh, N64 like here so uh, it's kind of a setback but now we got a really bookie here we got one minute there just to get into one specific hole in the ship or a sunken ship that I just didn't really pay attention to now since this is all piratey area there's like a ship right there that leaves some to speculate that eh, this this area is inspired by Donkey Kong Country 2 because that because that game was just full of pirate themes just full of uh, just pirate themes I mean the boss was just pirate even King K rules just a pirate all right now we got we don't have any swordfish but we do have bananas to collect that's good and this gold banana just right there nothing guarding it not much to actually traverse but there's still a little, a, a little bit more to collect here such as these two bananas right there all right 95 I think I actually saw the other one on the other side and there we go luckily I didn't forget anything that's, that's great just those chests that kind of actually made me worried thinking that I didn't I didn't get all the chests that I need but all right we did it uh, I can't find my way out here thanks to the lighting light fish whatever the the fish with the light thing can you help me out here because this you're not doing a good job please I know I came this way I can just find it come on all right there it is uh, just the thing just blended just blended in the back all right this out here 100 bananas one blueprint four golden bananas I think we did pretty good part or pretty good job for this part so I think that's gonna be it for this part to next time for part 21 as I'll try and plan out who I'll, I'll play as next I won't because because uh, I haven't gotten any further than this in my practice run I'll actually go on my practice run and figure out what I should be doing next so till then, see you guys later.